Hey, this is Craig, and you are watching No Rest for the Wicked. We're going to talk about the eyedropper tool in Adobe Illustrator and how to use it. The eyedropper tool can be found over here in the tools panel. It looks like a little eyedropper. If you place your cursor over it, you'll see the name appear, eyedropper tool. The keyboard shortcut for this tool is the letter I. So say we want to uh, change the color of this star here. We must first select the star. You see the bounding box appear around the star. We've selected this star. Then we can go to the eyedropper tool, or you could just click the uh, letter I. But say we want to change it to green. We just click on green, it will change to green. Or if we want to change it to blue. Another way you could change uh, the colors of shapes is you could use the color panel over here. You could just simply click on whatever color you want to change it to in the in the colors panel. Another way that you can change the uh, color or something, something that I use sometimes, you can import a color palette off of the internet. This is just a, uh, this is actually a PNG image I pulled off of the internet of a color palette and say we want to change the color of this star here we just click on the star select the star then click on your eyedropper tool or press the letter I and we can change it to whatever color off of that image another thing you could do with the uh, eyedropper tool you can change text uh, see how this text here is a it's a bold text here and this text here is a thin text Say I want to change this thin text to a to a bold text like this here. I will click on this thin text here. I will then click on the eyedropper tool. I will then click on the bold text and it changes this text over here. You can also change the uh, color of the text. Like say I wanted this dark blue color or I wanted this green color or this red color over here, or a color off of my image here. And if you double click on the uh, eyedropper tool, it brings up the settings for the eyedropper tool. I would just leave it as it is if I was you. I've never changed mine, but you can change the settings in the eyedropper tool. That's the basics to how to use the eyedropper tool. Thanks for watching.